Hello, this is Ahmad Yamani Sharif, electrophysiologist and the surgeon of interventional cardiologist from Tehran Heart Center, presenting pacemaker lead extraction endovascular approach. Our case is a 87 year old lady with a history of permanent pacemaker implantation from 11 years ago. She had generator exchange about one month ago and due to pocket infection the generator was successfully removed recently however percutaneous lead extraction using locking stylus from subclavian vein was unsuccessful there is a special tool uh, called a needle eye snare uh, to grab and extract lead from a femoral approach unfortunately this is not available in our country you can see how this tool works it grabs the pacemaker leads. In our case, from femoral vein approach with the use of an agilis sheet and a catheter ablation, we made a loop around the two pacemaker leads in the right atrium. And the ablation lead was snared by a regular gooseneck snare and grabbed uh, and grab pacemaker leads were made free from right atrium and ventricle and uh, extracted to the IVC. You can see how we snared the agilis sheet and the ablation catheter. And in the next slide, you can see the grabbed pacemaker leads were made free from right atrium and ventricle and extracted to the IVC. After, the sh after that each separated lead was snared and extracted within Agilis sheet. They are also extracted from subclavian vein. Each one are extracted into the Agilis sheet and they are extracted from the femoral vein axis. using a goose neck snare. After making them free from ventricle and atrium, uh, it's so easy to grab them and snare them and extract them into the agilis sheet. It's the only temporary pacemaker uh, remained in place and other leads were extracted. In summary, Given the rising number of implanted transvenous pacemaker lead extractions are going to be performed more frequently and snaring with the use of gooseneck snares and agilis sheet might be a practical approach from femoral vein excess. Thanks for your watching.